here in Clifton again, walking the woods on this rainy Sunday morning and just kind of looking around for different types of plants, fungi, wildlife in general. Um, as I was walking along, I came across this fallen tree. There's the root ball of it. It's a pretty sizable root ball. And as a habit of mine, I generally check these root balls for a number of things. Um, when these things do occur, when these trees fall, um, and these root balls are formed, they create little microhabitats. So you just never know what you can find in there. However, this one's pretty recent, so probably succession hasn't taken place yet. So there's not a lot of anything really living here yet. But what else is cool, though, about when this happens is that sometimes it exposes things like this, which I just saw laying on top of the ground. It's amazing. This is like the second one I found within a couple of weeks. And there's a quartz arrowhead of some sort. Again, I don't know much about the age of these. Um, I've heard anywhere from several hundred years to a couple of thousand years old. Um, all of which are different, unique in their own way because they're individually crafted. Um, of course, Native Americans back then did not have the benefit of the Industrial Revolution to mass produce these. So it's quite remarkable how a little bit of rain and an act of God or Mother Nature can expose these things that have been lost forever. Very, very cool. I never get tired of finding these things.